All right, well, we got that thing where Bob done. Um, I'm going to burst into flames now. Um, so I guess we'll keep on going around looking for some more shrines. I'll showcase really quickly, just because I said I was going to earlier, the uh, making enemies invisible thing for Bob. Because I said I was going to showcase it earlier, and then I didn't get around to it. So I'll, I'll do it now as well. Hi. Hi. What you up to? How are you feeling? Hi. <laughs> hey? Hey, sweet doggie. Sometimes sweet. She has her moments. She has her moments, I suppose. So the one guardian that... Yeah, this was the uh, Dudo that I tried on before. If I make my way into, like, the forest over there, perhaps. If I go ahead and do that. I'm forgetting my buttons. What the hell? What? Hey? Let's see here. Let's just see here. Okay, let's go. What? I didn't do the thing? Okay, well, the ledge did not want to cooperate this time, I guess, for whatever reason. Give me this turnip. Give me this hearty radish. Call it a turnip for some reason, but, uh... <laughs> Jeez, it's been a while since I played this game. My goodness gracious. Yeah, let's try making our friendo here invisible is what we'll do, just to show that, because I said I was going to earlier. Whoops! No! How about you don't? How about you just, like, don't? You are actually so dang rude. You are so dang rude. How about you don't? Yeah, you look for me while I check my phone here for whatever text messages I just got. Text messages telling me that the doogie's already been out for the last time of the day. That's why I guess she's here hanging out with me. Yeah, I guess that's why, huh? Um, let's see here. So let's go ahead and grab a bundle of wood. Put that down. I'll go ahead and switch to my flame blade. That's what we do. I'll make this into a campfire. I'll wait for you to stop looking for me, please. Can you, like, chill out? Maybe? Can you, like, maybe chill the hell out? Thanks. Thank you. Alright, let's see here. So. Just making sure that it's on that. So. Let's see. Let's see if I can remember where Mr. Dudo is, roughly. And then... Go ahead and open this. Let's let's view a memory, how about? Let's go ahead and view a quick memory. Just kidding, we're actually gonna skip it. So... Steven? Are you still here? Nope. There goes the Guardian. <laughs> You're still loaded in. But Mr. Guardian is gone, so where was he? I wonder if it, like, puts him back to his, like, starting spawning position when you do that. Like, if he'd be over here again. Because I could have sworn he was over here. But. Oh, no, he's here. He's here. We found him. We found Steven. So, yeah, this was, this was quite literally the glitch that I performed before the, uh, before the stream started. And it's how I was floating on nothing at the beginning of the stream. Like this. And it, uh, it's rather strange. It's, uh, it's pretty weird. I do gotta say. Mm -hmm. Sometimes arrows behave strangely, other times not. Sometimes they go right through them, other times they don't. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, uh... I don't know what determines it. Quite frankly. Maybe it's just a specific spot I have to hit? Or shooting from a specific side? Hmm. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, this is him here. You'll be our BL righty, Shuck. What, uh, what is going on here? No, I just got notified on my watch with the same text that I already got. From here, they seem to get stuck like that. No, that one just goes. Is the bomb arrow in there? can't even tell. Uh. Oh, no, the bomb arrow is in there. You can just barely see it. So, Steven's, like, here. So, um... Some of them are getting stuck. Yeah, we, we can repair this with a glitch later, anyway. With our pristine ancient bow. Um. Oh! Are any of them getting stuck here? I don't know what determines whether they get stuck or not. 
Can I see the uh, bomb arrow? <laughs> Heck yeah, so we can get a picture of bomb arrow in flight. That's how you do it. Can I do it for a shock arrow? <laughs> Is it selecting the shock arrow? <laughs> um, oh fine, I'll get this for the bomb arrows, I guess. I don't know what determines whether this gets stuck. Hold on. Is that one stuck? Nope. Uh. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, no. I. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know why my shield was gone. Oh, because I shield jumped up to him. So, uh, yeah, this is this is this essentially. <laughs> this is essentially this. So you know, the more you know. Hmm. Can I please get up here? Cool. There we go. Look at that. So yeah, this is kind of how we started out this stream, and this stream was like this. And it's when I was screwing around with the camera that I found out that you could, uh... What? There's even more poses if you hold ZL? I didn't know that... I'm done with this game. I... <laughs> I can't believe this. If you hold ZL, there's even more poses. I never knew this. What the heck? Can I, uh... Here, I'll, I'll just bring our friend back into existence real quick. That's what I'll do, I guess. <laughs> well, I think this might be my cue to, uh, skedaddle. Is what it might be. So what other shrines do we have around the world to go get? So let's see here. Let's look on the uh, Zelda map thing, Bob, and see what I'm missing. I'll look in this corner. So what shrines might I be missing, huh? So there's like the ones that are here and whatnot. We have a uh, Dookie's just laying around the corner. Would you like to come over here, Jesse? Want to come over here? Want to come over this way? Here you go, good girl. All right, let's see here. Oh, loose hair game, my face. So, what shrines are we missing? Got these ones here. Apparently, there's one that's like right here that I don't have yet. Sure, we'll go there. We'll go there, I suppose, and see what's going on. There's the stasis guardian that's just chilling there. I'll add doggy cam into the title now. That's what I'll do. Dog cam. Sure. I'll go ahead and do that, I suppose. She is quite, quite relaxed, it seems. Okay, so apparently somewhere over here is a shrine I haven't yet done. I might switch back to the climbing... So oh, it's gonna be super hot here anyway. Super hot. So it's over there, apparently. So... Whoops. Didn't mean to turn with that. Not quite my intention. And then shields, please. So then, let's go. Let's go. Let's go to that shrine over there. So it should just be in here. <laughs> yeah, here it is. There we go. Kaboom. Whee! Well, there we go. Boopity bop, just in case I use it for a thumbnail, I guess. There we go. So apparently I just never discovered this one. Interesting. Well, we've discovered it now. Let's go in. <laughs> Let's head on down to Funky Town real quick is what we better do. We'll head on down here. Make our way downtown. So what do we have going on in this shrine, huh? A balanced approach. <laughs> Don't use the word balance with me with this game. 
gonna figure out how to jank this. So that's breakable there. Wait, can I just like... There's no way it could just be this easy. <laughs> it might be. I I do think that like bomb launches are like one of the things that I'm worst at in this game. But if I can get them, it's like... Is there anything I can launch off of around here? No? Be able to use those if I got into there. I need the key though. I think the key was in there. I don't know where it is now. <laughs> it's metal, right? Hold on. Wait, where'd the key go? Wait. I assume the key was in there at least. Got barrels. Not metal, are they? Where? <laughs> what did I do to that chest? What did I do to it? Okay, so I could clip into there, but like, I'd be stuck in there if I did. Uh. What happened to the cot? Did I destroy it? Ah, crap. I think. I think the key might be gone. Maybe. I, I don't know where it is. I don't know where the thing is. I don't. I don't see it anywhere. <laughs> so about that. I can maybe use a barrel though. These barrels seem to withstand that explosion already enough, you know? So. <laughs> so maybe. Just maybe. So what if I like... Do this. Like this. Okay. Whoops. I'll just like... Dang it. I need to be on the barrel. That's what I need. So what good way can I space myself to for sure be able to jump on the... Maybe... Wait, maybe that's the key. Maybe that up there is where I get the key. Oh. Hold on. Oops. Yeah, I can do something like this, maybe. Yeah, sure. Sure. Sure, let's go for it. Whoops. Crap. I can't do it when I actually need to. I can do it in practice, but then when I actually need to, I just can't. I'm just boosted at the video games. I suck. I'm real bad. I wish I knew what was in that other chest. Like, I assume that maybe that one's the key. I would assume. I mean, I was probably supposed to destroy this and then get into that chest, and that gives me the key to get into there to get that metal. To be able to go across here, that gives me something else important, probably. It's probably what was intended. My goodness, wow. Hold on. So about that far away-ish? Maybe? Yeah, I, that somehow doesn't surprise me too much. Oh! Oh! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> and it gives me the puzzle solve jingle. Oh my goodness, done! Whew. There we have it. There, I solved it the totally intended way. There we go. Yeah, I, I am quite resourceful, aren't I? <laughs> aren't I, great monk? I'm so incredibly resourceful, I must say. There we go. Easy peasy. Don't have to worry about a thing. Oh, man. What a beautifully stupid game this is. I love it. Alright, there are 17 shrines left around the world. I might have to repair my stuff. I need to remember how to, uh, how to do that. To, uh, transfer durability and stuff. I do have the spring-loaded hammer around for that express reason. If need be. So, what other shrines do we have here? Let's see. Let's check this map and see what else I'm potentially missing. So, I've done all the ones in Korok Forest. 
I look over this way, I've done these ones here, those ones there, um, these two here, I've done these two, wonder what the error in the bottom left there is, um, done these three, yeah, so that's all done there, and whatnot. Um, this line of three is done. Welcome back, Guzma. <laughs> you missed a very, very silly launch we had. That was certainly something. What do you miss? A very, very silly, silly launch. I did hit the clip that button, so I might be able to share the share the clip with you. That's why I might be able to do if I check here clips and then, like the most recent one that there was. I can probably uh, I can probably post it here for you. Um. Let's see here. Also, hello, hello, Slasher Queen Celine. Is that a name change there by chance? Because I assume that's Celine. But yeah, played the game twice the second time. He did zero quests other than find all the Koroks because he would door has to his dance. Gathered up every single one of those Koroks because he just wanted to, uh, wanted to see Hestu do the shimmy shama. I guess, but hello, hello, Celine. How are you doing today? Have you ever done any of the glitches that we're going to be doing here? If I can actually find a shrine that I haven't, uh, Whoops, I need to actually have the, uh, I had OBS loaded up there. So I was looking at my own screen thinking that, uh, okay, back to the map here. So what other things could I be missing? So, wait, where am I on the map here? So here, so there's this row of three. So I've done that. Apparently there's one like here that I haven't done yet. Apparently it's not tied to a quest, is it? Um, requirements, none. Okay, so there's one like here somewhere. So I'll put a waypoint down. I'll go here. Um. But yeah, the <laughs> jump over the wall was insane. Do you like it, Goosba? Name change with your new spooky stream aesthetic on your channel is now Halloween all year round. It's always Halloween. People are, it'll be like October 72nd, but people are celebrating the pff, holidays. Unbelievable. What kind of, what kind of thing is that? It's always, always real spooky. Where's the shrine? So the shrine's over this way. Isn't this the guy that wants to see me fly or something? Hmm, it's quite high. If only I was a bird, man. Boo! Practice did it take for you? What, that one launch? It took me a few attempts. That was like my fourth or fifth try or something like that. Where did you come from? Where do you go? Where do you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Don't scare me like that. How do you get up here? Well, I suppose you could ask me the same question. See, I've dedicated my life to the study of bird men. Their flight mechanics fascinate me. Given their weight, it should be physically impossible for them to fly with wings of their size. I just don't get it. I was standing on the ground watching the skies when suddenly this tower erupted beneath my feet. I've been stuck up here since with no way to get down. But my misfortune is a blessing in disguise. You see, this tower is the perfect place to observe birdmen in their natural habitat. Oh my, now that you've climbed up here, how will you get down without falling? I suppose you're stuck here too. I'll just fly down. What? You can fly? You can fly like a birdman? Yep. Is that true? I thought it impossible for a Hylian to fly like a birdman. I can't. Using glitches. Uh, it's more like gliding. No, I can I can fly without losing height. I saw a step in the right direction. If I can analyze your glide distance and trajectory, it may help us understand the science of birdman flight. Then maybe one day I'll finally realize my dream of becoming a bird. <laughs> ah. Would you mind participating in a short research site? I want to see how far you can glide. You'll be compensated for your time and travel, depending on how far you fly. So how about it? Um... Marvelous, our findings today may prove to be the cornerstone of Birdman research for generations to come. However, you are merely gliding, not flying. Are you sure about that? Maybe it's a rather dangerous research project. As such, a liability fee of 20 rupees will be necessary to proceed. You know, in case I have to file an incident report. <laughs> all right. Landing elevation, wind direction, stamina usage. Keep all these in mind as you consider the farthest distance you can reach by gliding. If you're ready, let's take to the skies. Birdman research study, go! Give me a sec. Give me a sec here, my guy. I promise this is important for flight. Whoops. I promise it's important for flight. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, see ya. Whee! That counts for the mini game. Whee! Hey, look, there's the shrine. Whoa. Whoa. This is gonna make my thumb sore. This is actually gonna make my thumb like hell sore. <laughs> <laughs> what? The game can't even load fast enough. <laughs> it raining probably doesn't help matters along either. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> I need to give my thumb a break here and there from time to time. So, um, about that. 
<gasps> About that. <laughs> I think it'll just go until we touch the ground, right? This hurts my thumb. <laughs> We're going. We've now traveled three kilometers in about, like, 20 seconds. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're going so fast! This is... <laughs> wow. I wish my car could travel this fast when I've got places... Dang, I screwed it up! <laughs> so this is, like, the normal gliding speed. I can potentially save this. I can maybe wind bomb it. What? My other bomb was out somewhere? Hold on. Let's wait for this to recharge. Then we're going to try a wind bomb. No! Ah! <laughs> Hi! Um, look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's like breaking the unit. I screwed it up. I screwed it up. You fall. If you let the left stick rest to the neutral position, even for a moment, you just fall. I must have, like, released it at some point by accident. <laughs> Marvelous what a breathtaking flight. I never dreamed a Hylian could fly four and a half kilometers. Your methods may have been unconventional. I didn't see you flap your arms once, but they were effective. The field of Birdman research will benefit greatly from this data. You deserve a heavy compensation for your efforts. Please take this silver rupee crate. So, if you're still up for it, why not glide down again? The world of Birdman research rates. I'll try it one more time. One more time. Can I get those 20 rupees? That should cover the filing fee. Okay, hold on. Yeah, we got teleported all the way back. So, uh, normally. What? Was he was invisible for a second. It is rather convenient. Normally, you just glide down to, like, maybe somewhere over here at best, and then you get teleported back. We went to, like, somewhere over here, I think. Okay, so what would be the furthest distance we could travel from here? Like, in theory, the furthest we could travel from here should be Eventide Island. Can I do that? Hold on, I'm gonna set a marker for Eventide Island. Let's see if I can set a course for there. So... <laughs> that seems like it should be the farthest place we can go. So, this guy, it's really important to him to study the study the flight of birdmen. So, the best way to contribute to his research is naturally to fly to the furthest possible place that we can fly, which in this case just so happens to be even Tide Island. Dang, I screwed it up. Timing's a little bit delicate. I still have bomb arrows equipped, but that's neither here nor there. There we go, I got it. Okay. But, because that should be the farthest place we can travel with this. So, how would he even know where I landed? Like, uh, well, let's see if... Let's see how long you can keep your keep your eyes on me, Mr. Dudo. I'm going to have to be very careful not to uh let the stick reset to neutral position this time. That's what I'm going to have to do. That was my mistake before. I do get kind of sketched out with this... uh moving the stick back and forth like this because I'm afraid that if I keep it in the center a bit too long it'll count as resting in like the neutral position and I'll fall it is a genuine concern but if I can whenever I'm resting I'm holding it down so I'm not you know resting it in neutral is my strap which way should I go around these mountains does it matter hold on I might have to go around like this way hold on yeah, I'm gonna kind of change my directory a little bit. Trajectory, not directory. Um, to maybe go around this way a smidge, just so that the mountains don't stop my, uh, stop my flight. This hurts my thumb so much, you have no idea. <laughs> uh, come on, let's go. Yeah, so we've, uh, whoa, let's not lose this. We've already made it, like, farther than before, essentially. He's <laughs> secretly the cameraman, that's how he knows. We're just on, like, the other side of the continent, and... Okay, so I didn't have to go around as much as I thought I did. <laughs> it's really struggling to load. So, even Tide is out there, I think, ish, according to what I've marked on my map. So, we need to change our directory to that way a smidge, is what we need to do. I can't pause to see where I'm going. Pausing will screw it up, too. I think that's it in the distance over there, right? I think that's even Tide. I think we can make it there. Come on. <laughs> ah, my thumb. I need to change my directory more. 
I feel like I'm curling here, or like one of those people that's like, sweep, sweep, sweep. That's literally what this is for Link to gain speed, or like, you know, change direction. Sweep, sweep. I, if I lose this now, I'm gonna lose my mind. Sweep, sweep, sweep. I'm a little bit off course. Come on. I need to change my course slight. We're almost, come on. Come on. <laughs> I wonder if we can get to the very edge of the world. Yeah, it's crazy loading lag because Link was never supposed to move this fast. What if we go past Eventide and like try to make it to like the very corner of the world where it lets me? Where will it let me go? Can't go any farther. <laughs> so is this just like the maximum distance you can go for this mini game? Whoa. So I can go this way a smidge more, maybe. I can still go this way. I think we might have reached like the cap of what we can do in this mini game. I think we might have done it. All right, I'll fall now. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> uh, it's taking a long time to load me back because we are at the complete opposite corner of the world. So it has to load this whole area again. <laughs> Mavos, what a breathtaking flight. I never dreamed a Hylian could fly over eight kilometers. Your methods may have been unconventional. I didn't see you flap your arms once, but they were effective. Field of Birdman research will benefit greatly from this data. Some heavy compensation for your stellar efforts. Please take this. Well, that was the longest flight yet. I bet you could set an even better record next time. I don't know if I could. Like, maybe, like part of a meter better it's still struggling to load maybe like a fraction of a meter better what is that is that like the uh the spear f freaking horse thing or whatever the heck it is i don't remember what it's called but uh so there was that there was that i suppose so that's probably not like the very cap that you can set in that mini game but it's gotta be very close like i got as much in this corner as i as i could so that's got to be close to like the maximum that is physically possible to set for that mini game. My, I'm giving my thumbs a break. I'm just gonna glide down to the shrine normally. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna play the game normally for like a minute here, just to give my thumb a break because my thumb's tired now. Did I say play normally? I lied. I screwed up. I screwed up. I suck at wind bombing. That is, a, out of all the tricks that I know in this game, that is the one I'm worst at, is wind bombing. And it seems like something that speedrunners are able to get, like, pretty consistently without too much issue, so I don't know why I suck so much. I don't know. I can get other, I can get other tricks down, no problemo. But, uh, but that one, I just can't do that one. Uh, my, th my left thumb is really sore now. <gasps> oh, my thumb hurts. But it was worth it. It was worth it, <laughs> setting the, uh, probably close to the maximum possible, possible flight distance for that. That was pretty good. That was pretty funny. That was, that was worth it. <laughs> it's worth hurting my thumb for that.